Hi, my name is Hope Wells, and I'm talking about the story of Adam and Eve, these naked vegetarians, and the forbidden fruit. Okay, so in the story, Genesis says, Out of the ground God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. So, all the trees are pleasant to the sight and good for food. This includes the one with the forbidden fruit. It's not the tree of wisdom, this particular tree we're talking about. It's not the tree of knowledge. The tree that bears the forbidden fruit is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. What is the knowledge of good and evil? Well, Eve gives us a clue. After Eve is tempted, we read, Then the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and desirable for gaining wisdom. Key word is desirable. When we desire something, we project our happiness into the future. We say, in effect, I cannot be happy until, until I do this, until I get that. Here, Eve decides that she can't be happy without that fruit. She tells herself that the tree is especially good and pleasing. The self-deception has begun. So Eve eats, and she gives some to Adam. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, it says. Opened by wisdom, we ask? Well, it says, they realized they were naked. That seems odd, until you notice that it rationalizes what they feel like doing anyway, which is avoiding God. So, what do they do? They hide. And next, God arrived. He doesn't rush to judgment. He simply asks, Adam, where are you? He gives him a chance to come clean. Adam is designed, remember, to subdue the earth. That's his purpose. So he normally, under normal circumstances, he would feel connected, powerful, joyful. But now he feels only weakness, shame, dread. And he responds with the lame, I was hiding because I'm naked. This odd behavior gives him away. God says, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? Second chance, come clean, Adam. But Adam feels guilty and he feels out of control and he argues the woman whom you, God, gave me, she gave me the fruit and I ate. So Adam blames God and Eve. And then Eve blames the snake. Why? Because they have been transformed psychologically. They now see the world in terms of good and evil, mostly evil. God, nakedness, freedom, evil, 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 evil. Whereas before it wasn't like that. Remember, earlier we were told, God saw all he had created, and behold, it was very good. So just because Adam and Eve now see it as evil, does that really make it evil? <laughs> From God's point of view, things are not different, or things are different, but not, in fact, evil. God has kept his word. Adam and Eve will be held accountable, but we also get to see God's mercy. Everything is still very good. So what's in the forbidden fruit? nothing. It's just fruit. And what is the knowledge of good and evil? Well, it's a way of thinking that can cause us to lose control of our own happiness. And here's why this is such a big deal. If this story tells us why we, as a human race, make ourselves miserable, it can also tell us how we can reverse the process. What exactly stands in the way of our happiness? Hold on. Next up, return to paradise.